Hey, I'm Josh Denbo. I'm a consumer protection attorney. I sue banks. I defend foreclosures. I represent people in trouble. I sue car dealers. I sue debt collectors. I represent folks. I love my job. All right, here's the thing today. If you're a successor in interest on a mortgage loan, and if you are a successor in interest, and you're looking for information on the web as to what to do when the bank gives you a hard time, about you succeeding in interest to the mortgage, you know what a successor in interest is. If you're not, a successor in interest is what it sounds like. It's somebody who succeeds as a matter of law to the ownership of the real property subject to the mortgage, they most of the time have a right under federal law, under the Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act, under RESPA, to assume the mortgage as successor in interest. And it doesn't matter what your credit is, doesn't matter your income is. If you want to assume the mortgage, the servicer has to let you. But there's a problem. Even though the federal law requires a servicer to allow you to assume the mortgage, there isn't a private right of action that's easily identifiable to sue, to, identifiable to sue a mortgage servicer for not allowing you to assume the mortgage, even though under federal law, you're allowed to sue the mortgage, assume the mortgage. It's a problem. Is it going to be solved? I hope so. I have a really terrible case that's been taken up by HUD at the highest levels. They're looking through it now. Hopefully they'll put out guidelines and force services to get into line. The point is though, if you're a successor in interest scouring the internet for help, you're not going crazy. You are entitled to succeed and assume the mortgage, but your service is giving you a hard time. So what to do about it? Well, if it's a Fannie Mae loan, Fannie Mae has some answers. They just set out some new guidelines and I'll post the guidelines in the comments, but in, in the section below. But it's not really gonna help you because it's inside baseball and you need a lawyer to enforce them anyway. <clears throat> Bottom line is, if you're going crazy because the bank won't let you assume the mortgage, you're not alone. You do need a lawyer to help you. And you gotta find a lawyer who understands the issue. And it's a very, very small, discreet issue of crucial importance. There's not many lawyers around the country who are taking these cases. So there's not a lot of great news here, except that you're not alone. I understand what you're going through. I understand the difficulties. I have some strategies and how to deal with them. They don't always work. This is just a very difficult problem that the government is eventually gonna fix. The more people that come up to point out this problem to the CFPB, to attorneys like me, the better off we're gonna be and the quicker the government's gonna force the services to get into line. And that's the mortgage update for today.